Hey, ladies and gentlemen, new cannon just dropped. All you gotta do is go into the bin, drop off some fuel, and then once it turns on, you're ready to fly. Let's go! Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Drawing Chaos, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made this wonderful rail cannon, including how to design it to make it look all spiffy, and we're gonna even try and make it into a blueprint. So if you're excited for that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can make it to 100,000 subscribers. Why? Well, I can't tell you that, but if you get me there, uh, <laughs> you'll find out. Anywho, that being said, let us jump into the blueprint. Now, this is a blueprint mark three, and hopefully we'll be able to fit it in here. Okay, to start us off, we're going to go into walls. We're going to grab a tilted wall, four meter. I'm going to aim it this way. Press H to hold, and because I want it in the center, I'm going to press the arrow key four times. That should get me directly in the center if I make sure I hit that correctly. There we go. Then I'm going to grab myself a small concrete pillar. See that little notch that's in the center right there? I'm going to go one up from there, and I will have just enough to be able to build all three. And then what I can do is I can hold control that allow me to build on any part of the small pillar that I want. That allowed me to build three other pieces, leaving just this little gap right here. Now I need another piece up here. Unfortunately, I can't build that up there. So I have to basically hold control, build that there, hold control, build it there. And then I can delete this piece, this piece, these three in the back, as well as this tilted wall back here. This is the beginning section of my wonderful build. Then all I have to do is go and pull out my metal beam. I'm going to aim at the center right here. I'm going to have this on default and I'm going to stretch it out 40 meters. Then I want to grab myself a small frame pillar. I'm going to aim at the side and I'm going to zoop this all the way across. Next up, I'm going to grab a hyper tube wall support. Now, the reason I'm building this on the beam and not on here is because it goes up just a little bit higher and it looks much nicer having it right there. So I can aim it at the center right here, and then I can switch over to where these two meet right there. Then in the center, then where these two meet. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab a regular hyper tube, and I'm going to connect the one where it starts in the middle to the one in the middle. Now this one is gonna be where the entrance is, so we have to leave it alone just now. But what I wanna do is I wanna have 10 individual sections like this. Now that I got all that, I want to give it a nice K-terium finish. So I'm going to aim at the one I want to paint, press G, and it'll filter out so I can only paint those ones and it doesn't matter what else I scan. Then I'm going to go over on the HyperTube wall support and I'm going to pull up a HyperTube entrance. I'm going to make sure that there is an entrance on each and every one of these. Then I want to paint these with a nice copper finish, so I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. And there we go. Okay, all we got to do now is finish the tip over here. Unfortunately, we can't extend the metal beam out any further, but what we can do is we can grab this small metal frame and we can put it down here and put it down here, delete this one, and then you can just build this out and we're just going to build it out four meters. We're going to grab the hypertube wall support, bring you up to over to the edge, aim you forward, grab our hypertube, connect it over here, and of course, paint it just for fun. So... Now what we can do is we can press zoop, we can go all the way down, and what we want to have is we want to have these two be concrete, so there's three concrete total, then it goes into the small frame pillars. Then at the very edge, it's going to go into concrete again. Now before we connect the last two, what we need to do is we need to connect the power. So all you got to do is go to power lines, grab your power, aim down at the bottom right here, and you're gonna go in the middle of each two pillar as you go. And the best part about this is once you get it all together and hook them all together, you have that nice little line that goes on the bottom and it looks awesome. Now you got all the power hooked up, you can hook up the rest of these concrete pillars. Two over here, and then you're gonna switch over to the frame pillar. You're gonna zoop this all the way down, zoop this one all the way down, and then you're gonna grab your wonderful concrete pillar and you put one over here on the edge and one over here on the edge. Unfortunately, it leaves a gap in between there. The best thing is a painted beam. You can bring one all the way down and then bring one down even further, connecting it all the way down to the bottom, switching over to the wonderful beam connector and putting that at just specific points 
where it connects everything together. And you're gonna do that on all four sections. Then what you wanna do is you wanna grab these small frame pillars on the side only. You're gonna delete those because we got a better looking thing that we can put on there. And for these painted beams, you wanna put whatever color you'd like. I'm gonna go with a nice chrome finish because it's actually gonna get us a nice shiny look, especially considering what we have planned for this lovely thing. And speaking of finish, I want to go with a copper finish for all the wonderful uh, concrete that we have going on here. If you press G like we did before, we can actually get those a lot easier and getting that painted up. Now what you can do is you can grab your hypertube wall support, aim on the side of the beam rig here, press H to hold and use the arrow keys. And if you press it three times, you can actually get it on the side. You can have it out a little bit more if you want, but I think right here works perfectly. And then you can do the same thing over here, H to hold, and press the arrow key three times. Then you have this nice cool thing on the side, which you can switch over to the hyper tube and connect the hyper tube from one side to the other. Now that's a little bit of extra design if you want it. Some people might actually want to leave it open, thinking it'll look better, but that's completely up to you. Actually, let me know down in the comment section which one do you like better, with it closed like that or open? Now to do the entrance, I switch over to the HyperTube support. I go right over two, go up two, and then lean over one. Then I can switch over to a HyperTube, and if I aim it just right, I could probably get in there. There we go. Then I can switch over to a HyperTube entrance, put that here, and then delete the support. And then voila, then I can paint this with a copper finish. The nice part about this is it always stays open so you can actually see right into there. Now, before we go any further, we're gonna take this wall outlet mark one and we're gonna switch it up to a wall outlet mark two. Eventually it'll allow me to do that. And then we're gonna connect this one over here and that'll give that power. And then we can grab ourselves some biomass burners. Now the biomass burners are going to be able to be built right here. Uh, if you press H, you can see right where I'm building it in the center. I want to go over two. There we go. And then I'm going to build one on the other side the same way. And then have that right there. Next thing up, I'm going to grab myself a storage container. I'm going to make sure the blue, green, whatever arrow color is painted that way. Make sure it's in the center. I'm going to hold control and I'm going to press the arrow key and that'll move it just one tick over. Then I can go into my logistics. I can go all the way down. I can get myself a splitter. Make sure the splitter is set proper directions and then go and make sure each one is a conveyor belt mark one. Why a conveyor belt mark one? Why not? Doesn't matter. Could be anything. And then, of course, we'll give each one of those things a nice gold paint job. Now, what I can do is I can go into power. I can grab my power lines and I can connect this one into here and I can connect the other one on the other side. Perfect. And then I can go here for a small pillar and I want to switch over to a big pillar. Now we are going to put two pillars in. The first one is going to be right here. As you can see with the white lines, it fits perfectly. And then we're going to build another one a little bit further. And it is going to go right here. Now it's up to you on how you want to put any of these extra supports. I'm just putting a couple in here just to look good. And then I'm switching back over to a small concrete pillar. I'm going to hold control and then I'm going to build underneath it. And I want to go in just one. Same on this side, just one. And I'm going to color these with a copper finish as well. Now we're almost done. We're going to grab ourselves for decoration, a conveyor lift. Now, here's the fun part. I'm trying to put this in here while it allows me to. So H to hold in case you're having any issues getting it in there. I'm going to put this right there and that's too far in. How about right here? Click it to hold it and then I'm going to aim it inward. And the reason for that is it kind of looks like it connects over like there. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. H to hold. Too far in. How about there? And we'll go on the other side. Perfect. Then we'll give it a nice little gold slap finish. And then it allows it to look like we're actually going inside and going home. 
Now time to add a little pizzazz on the side. I'm going to go to walls. I'm going to go all the way down, grab some hexagons or whatever you want to call them. All right. Press H to hold and I'm going to press it over. I want it perfectly right in there. Perfect. Then press H to hold and I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to press the arrows and make sure there's one on this side. I can bring those down. I can bring that over. I'm going to grab myself a pipeline wall hole. And I'm going to aim these so they look like they're actually either in the middle of this or they're kind of... I mean, the best way to put it is I want them to look like they actually attach to the angle that they're going. And we're going to put two of them in there so they look like... Um, uh, what's those things? That kind of just like rotates it back and forth. G to hold for my dismantle menu, and then I can just aim at all these and get rid of them. Go back in, and we're going to give this a chrome finish. I think those look good with chrome. And then there we go. That's pretty much it. Now, granted, it's up to you on whether or not you want the sides any spectacularly more than what they already are. Uh, H to hold, and we're going to press over a couple times. I could just leave these the way they are if I wanted to. And it's up to you on whether or not you want to use lights. Uh, one quick thing, make sure you put in two power shards for each one of those. So you're making 60 megawatts of power each. Oh my god, that would have been totally bad. Yeah, you use it a couple power shards, but you know, for something as compact and cool looking as this, I don't blame you. And if you want to, you can probably extend this out a little bit more and do something crazy with it. But I'll leave that up to you. Now all we got to do is save this blueprint, and uh, what would look good? Let's see, hypertube. Uh, which one represents a good hypertube cannon? We'll pull this one right here. Uh, and the color is going to be red as a nice warning. And we're going to call this a hypertube railgun. And I will save this blueprint. And then we can fly around and then I can go to blueprints and bam, there we go. Oh, that is going to be so cool that I can just build them out everywhere. Right, Ada? Building in blueprint mode can further optimize your construction process with snapping and quick dismantling options. <laughs> so this is all going to be really cool and really useful to build and, you know, just have fun with it and make sure you design yours however you want it or paint it whatever color you want. But that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know if you need any help putting this into your thing. It'll be the blueprint for this will actually be inside the discord. If you want to check it out, uh, just go under free. Wait, what one did I have it under just to be sure, because people ask me this a couple times. Uh, make sure you have it. Under, it's going to be under uh, blueprints. What the, how did I forget that there was a blueprint one? My mind is fried. <laughs> I work too much. Anyway, hope you enjoyed all this. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.